Hey guys, here we are today. We're gonna to show you some hard reset for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and probably cover the 5 as well. My, uh, this device here is the Pro. Um, so we're just gonna go through your reset options. So with the, with the watch, you have some options here on how to reset it, and uh, I'll just cover those. So uh, you have you have your phone, you have the watch, okay, and you have some some options here. So you've got the um, You've got the operating system, it's Android system, so the Wear OS runs on your phone and it also runs on your watch. So you can use the options we're going to cover, uh, uh, the reset options going from probably the what I find the easiest to the probably the um, more difficult is uh, using your phone. You can use the Wear OS on your phone to reset uh, reset your watch. You can use the Wear OS software on your on your watch itself, or you can also use the kernel. Uh, the hardware on the actual watch itself to reset it as well. So there's three options there. One being the operating system on your phone using that Wear OS on Android uh, or using the built-in software on your phone which is basically the same or the kernel which is a more difficult option but you can use the hardware itself. So we're going to cover those three options to uh, reset your device. Okay, let's start with the phone first. I find this easier um, because it's just a bigger screen to work with. Once you open the Wear OS software, which is a little green icon, uh, you'll be able to find, uh, it'll open up, it'll have already a Bluetooth connection to your device, to your watch. Uh, you have watch setting icon there, the orange. In here, you scroll down to General, in general, you click on, you'll go about halfway down, you'll see reset, click on reset, you'll find there reset, your big blue button, uh, before resetting, back up your account of course and some other information and you can click on that. It'll scan for your device. You can see here. And it's resetting. This will send it back to the factory default. Just take a few minutes. There is a cancel option there. Uh, I'm not sure how well that works. So, uh, and in this case, we've got no device found. That's because this is repowering now. It's saying scan again, but don't panic. This is resetting now. Reading up through the kernel, the OS is going to start up.
and there you go. You can see your device is reset there. Okay, so you're back to factory default. Okay, all the data's gone. If you want to recover your data, you'd have to have the backup. Otherwise, you have to start again. Okay, for the second option, we will use a software on the watch to do the reset. So the first option, we use the phone. We use the Wear OS on the phone. The second option, we'll use the Wear OS software on the phone itself. So we scroll up and you look for the cog here in the, that's the settings and you go under general, you scroll down, you'll see the option for reset. Under reset, you get an option to do your backup of your data. Okay, if you wanna recover your data. Uh, if not, you just click the reset button there and you'll go through the same as before. It will factory reset your device. Okay, so let's go back home. All right, now on this option for the reset, we will actually use the kernel, which is the hardware. For the hardware reset, now this option is pretty useful. It's, it's the most difficult to use or more complex to use. But you could use this option is probably preferable if you actually your phone, your devices, sorry, your your watch is uh, in a state, in a bad state where it's hung and it's not uh, responding. Um, so in this case, you can actually use the kernel, which is uh, the interface to the kernel is using the manual controls on the device itself through the watch here, uh, the power on the back button. Press and hold till the screen goes black and then start tapping the power button. You'll get this menu come up. Scroll through the menu till you get to recovery. Press and hold the power button on recovery. You get another menu here with a few options that you can scroll through using the back button. Reboot system now, reboot to, boot to uh, boot loader. So you want to go through these options until you see the one wipe data factory reset, that one there, and You'll select that by power button and it'll give you a warning. Uh, wipe all user data. This cannot be undone. Of course, if you haven't backed up your data, if it's important to you, then you'll lose it at this point. You can cancel if you wish by just pressing the power button at this point, but you'll need to go down to factory data reset, press the button for the power. It'll go through a recovery now, wiping the data. Okay, the data has been wiped. And now you can reboot system now. Press the power button again to reboot the system. And at this point, if everything's been successful for you, you will have a recovered phone. see here we're getting different languages okay so you can see here the phone is now reset to factory reset your phone back to uh, reconfigure your phone the languages and go through setup again at that point if you uh, can't remember the process to 
set up your phone again. Um, I'll have a follow-up video on how to set up your phone again, or you can just follow the um, instructions by the manufacturer uh, that came with the device itself. So that's it. They're the three ways you can uh, reset to factory. Uh, this will be useful if you get in a position that you, um, you know, you want to sell the device to um, somebody else and you don't want your data to be there, or if you have a problem uh, and you've mucked up your device or it's unstable and you want to reset it back to factory. This is the process. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Catch you next time. See you guys.